Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Cakes. In this video, I will discuss with you some DAX functions that you should definitely prepare for Power BI interviews. Okay, and I have already uploaded part three last week, so today's one is part four. So please go and check out the first three parts, part one, part two, and part three, and then come to this video. Okay, so let's start. And if you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe to stay updated with all my videos. Okay, so today's functions will be. Let me show you. First one is selected value. Second one is summarize, and the third one is how can you create a one row table using DAX. So the answer is the row function. So using row function you can do that. So we'll see how we can implement it practically in our Power BI model. Okay. So before starting, let me, let me give you the overview of the model. I have already given uh, many times in my past videos. So. Uh, we have a customer table, we have a product table, uh, these both are dimension tables and this is our sales fact table. Okay, so customer is connected to the sales fact table using uh, customer ID table through one to many relationship and product is connected to sales fact table using product underscore ID with one to many relationship. Okay, so this is our simple model. Now let's uh, focus on our first function selected value. So on selected value many times interview will ask you and this is a very uh, very famous function you can say. So let's first see uh, what is the definition given by Microsoft for this. So it will return the value when the context for column name has been filtered down to one distinct value only. Otherwise it will return the alternate result and the syntax is it will take a column name and the alternate result if you want to give any. Okay. Now let's see how we can implement it practically. Okay. So for that, uh, I will create a measure here and we'll see how this selected value will uh, will be working and like uh, to the interviewer also you can say the same uh, the way I am telling to you. So for example, you can tell the scenario like uh, uh, we have a uh, customer city table, okay, customer city column where we have a different uh, uh, cities through which the customers uh, from which the customers belong. Okay, so I have put it in a slicer. Now uh, we have a card also, okay, where uh, we will create a measure which will show the total quantities that are bought that are being bought from a particular city, okay. And the user wants the end user wants that uh, on that on that card value, uh, the default value should come from Arcadia, from the city Arcadia. So whenever he or she opens the report, the total quantity for that uh, the total quantity that should be displayed. Firstly, in front of them will should be from Arcadia. Other than that, whatever selection they will do, the result should show them accordingly. Otherwise, by default, it should show the total quantity from Arcadia. Okay. Now let's see how we can create a measure for this. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I will create a measure here in sales fact table. Okay. And I will do this using selected value. Uh, we'll see how we can do it. So I will uh, name this as Select city underscore measure equal to I will do the calculate. Okay, calculate the total quantity. Total quantity I have already created. Measure is already created. So you can follow the last a couple of videos that, that I have uploaded. And uh, now I will use customer city. Uh, type city only directly so customer city should be equal to the selected value the selected value of the column city okay and if nothing is selected give the value as arcadia okay that's what was the scenario right arcadia close the bracket and close the bracket for calculate. Now let's see what does the result comes out. Okay, so our measure is correct. Uh, let me pull it in a card. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the value that you should see as a default value whenever uh, whenever this report will be opened. So now if I will click on any of the uh, other cities, for example, Albany, so it will show the value as per that selection. If I will go to uh, Ballard, it will show the total quantities from Ballard. If I will go to uh, Beverly Hills, then it will show the value according to that selection. But by default, if I do not check anything, it will show as 
5397 if i go to rkd also the same value will come see 5397 so selected value uh, becomes helpful in this kind of scenarios okay whenever we ha have to show some default uh, calculation to the end user so this is very helpful in those situations okay so this is how you can explain selected value function and also i am uh, i hope it is clear to you now and you can use it in your reports wherever uh, it is required right so now let's move to the second function that is summarize okay now now let's uh, see the microsoft documentation for summarize function so it returns a summary table for the requested totals over a set of groups okay so summarize uh, by the name also it seems uh, it tells that it is something uh, related to grouping it is something related to group by okay so the uh, syntax that you can see here it is it takes the table as an argument first argument then group by column name then group by column name whatever the whatever column names you want to group by so the number of columns you can give the name of the column and the expression of the column okay so now let's see how we can implement it in our model okay so on summarize also many a times interviewer will ask you so you, you have to say it returns a table and so whenever we have to do some grouping by and see the result our see the uh, transactions as per those grouping by then we can uh, make use of summarize function okay so let's see how we can implement it go to the sales fact table so here you can see we have a transaction date we have a product id we have a customer id we have a store id and we have different quantities for those particular uh, options okay so what we will do we will do grouping by product id and we'll see for every product id what is the total quantity in a separate table so that so from where we can do that we can go and new ta new table and then create that table using summarize function okay so this is our requirement here going back there so sales fact table we'll choose sales table then uh, product id okay so I will type ID. We have a product ID here. No, not from this. I can choose the sales one only. So product ID is here, and we have the column name now. The third argument can be a column name. So we'll uh, type here total quantity. Okay. So this will be our column name, and the last one is the expression. Okay, the value which uh, we want to give to this total quantity column. So that will be total quantity that we have already uh, calculated. So that is total quantity. Okay. Close the bracket and see what is the result. See, as you can see here, we have uh, we have created a new table called summary table, and that contains uh, product ID. And for that particular product ID, we have a total quantity value. Okay. So this is how we can uh, see what are the total quantities for different product ids and we by grouping by through this method okay so this is how uh, you can make use of summarize function and also explain this kind of scenario to the interviewer okay and i hope it is clear to you now okay so let's move to the, our last function that is row function so when, so whenever the interviewer will ask you how can you create a one row table you will go and say it will be it can be created using a row function okay so how can we create it we can say it practically now okay so the same if it's a row it's a table that we have to create so what we will do we'll click on data view tab and click on this new table okay and we have to create a one row table so before creating it let me also show you uh, what does the microsoft microsoft document say documentation says about row function so it will return a table as you can see here with a single row containing values that result from the expressions given to each column okay so it, it returns a single row okay this is uh, this is why the interviewer uh, asked you this question and what does it syntax is it, it takes name as an argument and expression as an argument so whatever is the name of, it is the name of the column and the expression will be the value of that column okay now let's see how does it uh, how do how do we implement that so what we'll uh, name it as uh, one row table okay so for that we'll make use of row function here and row function will take the first argument as name so we'll uh, type it as total quantity okay and the expression will be total quantity that we have already created in our last couple of videos 
close the bracket and press enter. See, one row table has been created with column name as total quantity and it will contain the total quantity of all the transactions. Okay, so this is the total quantity to eight double three four eight nine. So this is how you can answer any of the scenarios related to selected value summarize and row function here okay and i hope it is clear to you now so if you like the content please share it with your friends too and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you